located in the center of Portugal, the cityscape of Tomar, is dominated to its west by the vast monumental complex of the Convent of Christ as it stands at the top of a hill. It is a main feature of the city's identity, the unity of which has been preserved. The convent is surrounded by the walls of the castle of Tomar. It belonged to the Order of the Templars, and was founded in 1160 by Gwildim Pays, Grand Master of the Knights Templar. Built over the span of five centuries, the Convent of Christ is a testimony to an architecture, combining Romanesque, Gothic, Manueline, Renaissance, Mannerist and Baroque elements. The convent's centerpiece is its 12th century rotunda, known as the Oratory of the Templars, that is influenced by Jerusalem's Holy Sepulchre Rotunda. It was built by the first great master of the Templars, Gwildim Pays, and was based on a polygonal ground plan of 16 bays, including an octagonal choir with ambulatory. This is one of the typical rotundas of Templar architecture, of which few examples are still extant in Europe. In 1356, the convent became the home of the Order of Christ in Portugal, and the rotunda's decoration reflects the order's wealth. The paintings and frescoes depicting mainly 16th century biblical scenes, as well as the gilt statuary under the Byzantine dome, were carefully restored. When the Manueline church was built, it was connected to the rotunda by an arcade. Originally designed as a monument symbolizing the reconquest, the convent of the Knights Templar of Tomar, was transferred in 1344 to the Knights of the Order of Christ, and came to symbolize just the opposite during the Manueline period, that is the opening up of Portugal to other civilizations.